I'm making this video in hopes that uh, you can get a better understanding of how this is going to look. Uh, watch the video. I'm going to do one with a uh, eight letter and one with a seven letter. This is the seven letter video. Um, the two, uh, the two, uh, two words will be pretty much the same for most of it. It's the beginning that's different. So we're going to put our ruler close to the top, not at the very top. I have zero touching this side. I'm going to put a mark at six. And because it's seven letters, I need a, I'm going to have a letter in the middle of my word. So I'm going to shift this over so that my mark, my six mark, is now sitting at six and a half. I'm going to put a mark at six and seven. And then I'm going to erase that middle mark, that first mark I made. So I don't need it anymore. And then I'm going to come over a quarter of an inch to the left and a quarter of an inch to the right. These are going to be the spaces between the letters. So this is a letter, one inch. This is the space, quarter of an inch. I'm going to come over another inch on each side. Now, if I had a three-letter word, this is what I'd have. But since I have a seven-letter word, I'm going to keep going. I think I'm going to draw myself a line. Something to work on. So quarter of an inch over there, quarter of an inch here. And then an inch over here. An inch over here. So now I have one, two, three, four, five letters. Another quarter of an inch, and another inch. Quarter of an inch, and an inch. So I have one letter, a space, letter, space, letter, space, letter, space, all the way until I have seven. So then I'll draw, I will make my letters I'm writing these very, very lightly because I want to erase them when I'm all done. Okay? That's how to do a seven letter word. This will be for an eight letter word. Draw another line. Because it's eight letters, and another mark at six, because it's eight letters, I'm going to have a space. So I'm going to put my quarter of an inch, right, my, my little mark for six is going to be right in the middle of it. I'm going to go halfway on either side, and then get rid of that middle mark. I don't need it anymore. Go an inch this way, and an inch this way. Quarter of an inch that way, quarter of an inch that way. Inch, quarter of an inch. Inch, quarter of an inch. 
inch, quarter of an inch, inch, quarter of an inch. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, if I had six letters, if you have six letters in your word, then you don't need those last two marks. You're done. But if you have eight, you got to keep going. One more inch out there. One more inch over here. Okay? Now, everything from this point forward is exactly the same. Everything from this point forward is exactly the same. I'm going to measure down from my line. Three inches. Put a mark. Down from my line, three inches. I'm going to connect those two marks. It's a very light line. This line will go away. So I want to get rid of as much of it as I can. And then, using this mark, looking at the side of the paper, make sure the side of the paper and the ruler are, are parallel, and then I draw, draw a line from this mark down to my line. This needs to be light as well, because most of it will be erased. I'm going to do that for all my marks. If you find your letters start looking all wobbly and wonky, then what you have to do is put those marks down here. That means more measuring. So if you don't like doing extra work, then take a second, look at the ruler, look at the side of the paper, and make sure that they are parallel or going in the same direction. They're never going to touch. There are my spaces. That's sorry about that. That's where my letters are going to sit. And now I'm set to go. We'll move on to the next video to show how to put the letters inside those rectangles.